Hello everyone and welcome to Forever Motorsports and today we're going to be talking about some interesting news that's uh, um, sort of popped up in the last 24 hours saying that the FAI chief uh, is under investigation for apparently potentially interfering in a race and uh, actually um, you know having a role in the outcome of the race due to a specific incident happened last season in the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Um, before we sort of talk about exactly what we're talking about as well as what the incident was and what the coverage might be, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right, so uh, this is a report coming out from The Guardian, uh, which is based on, well, from BBC actually first came out. And uh, this is uh, now this is the Guardian reporting on it, uh, saying that uh, the FIA president, Mohammed bin Suleiman, is reportedly under investigation for interfering with the results of a Formula One race. The specific race they're talking about um, is the 2023 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Now, according to the BBC, a report by Motorsport Governing Body's compliance officer, Paolo Vasari, uh, uh, which was given to the Ed Committee, claims that bin uh, Suleiman acted to overturn a 10-second penalty given to Aston Martin's Fernando Alonso during that 2023 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Uh, the report claims that a whistleblower has, has uh, alleged that uh, Salayim uh, called the vice president, the FIA vice president, uh, vice president of sport for the Middle East, Sheikh uh, Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, who was in Saudi Arabia at the time in an official capacity, and apparently uh, said that, well, apparently he's basically inferred that he didn't think that the 10 second penalty should count and should be revoked. Um, and in the end, it wasn't actually imp uh, implemented itself. Um, it was, uh, so it was removed. And at the time, it was not really, really sort of drawn my martyr. And as a result of it, uh, Fernando Alonso did get pole in that Saudi Arabian penalty. Um, this was in uh, respect to the... Um, uh, that, that, that sort of, well, whilst he was serving a penalty, the fact that he had uh, alleged work done on the car. Um, it was uh, appealed by Andy Stevenson, um, who put the team's case forward uh, to, uh, to the stewards and posed the right of view. And um, it, was, it, it wasn't ever actually implemented that that takes an additional penalty, which would have removed Fernando Alonso from the pole from the race itself. Now, this is obviously very early in the, uh, the, the story, um, but if this has proved to be true. Uh, it becomes quite an interesting uh, situation because, you know, this is the last thing you, you want and can have in sort of the kind of sport and within the ethics committee and stuff like that. You cannot have your president deliberately interfering and making decisions uh, unilaterally, really, uh, that could potentially, uh, you know, affect the outcome of, of Grand Prix and the results of the sport. And uh, so it's quite an interesting one. Uh, in terms of, of action, you know, I don't think, um, you know, they're going to go back, for example, take the points off and, uh, and, and really sort of go back that way, but uh, it could mean potentially the end of him as uh, the uh, the head of the president of the FIA because uh, it is found that he deliberately and uh, used his position of power to to uh, interfere in the race, which he's not allowed to do, then uh, that would probably spell the end of his role, reign at the head of the FIA. So uh, whilst this is very much a developing story, for example, um, the consequences could be very big. It could be the end of his uh, city. I think, I don't see how you can continue if this is found to be true. And uh, this is why it's put toward, towards the Ethics Committee, for example, and we have to wait uh, for for uh, the findings over there. In the meantime, both the FI as well as uh, Ben Salayim have refused to comment on the incident and have not given any statements and are not going to talk about the incident. Uh, often when this is the case, it means that there could be a potential case of where there's smoke, there's fire type thing. So uh, there could yet be a little bit of truth to the story. But we'll have to wait and find out. What do you think would be the res uh, repercussions if this is found to be true? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Please do smash the like on the video and subscribe to the uh, channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.